What's up guys, it's Charge Power here with Rocket Punch Army to do a review for the Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Cyberverse Smokescreen. As you'll see, it's a small, little tiny figure. But the thing that caught my eye is that even though it's Beast Hunters, it's not a line that I'm actually into at all. Um, but I noticed he didn't have all that crazy armor stuff on. It was just a nice looking smokescreen, so I picked it up. And as you see here, it's got the whole Prime Beast Hunters thing going on in the front. And if we turn it around back you'll see both his modes here and it does tell you it does come with a chain bolter included All right, and up here it says if you can't confuse the Decepticons with a burst of magnetic smoke he'll blast them with his chain bolter All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open this up so you guys can check out this small but cute little figure alright so here is smokescreen in his robot mode and we'll spin him around so you can see what it looks like all around All right, nothing much to see here in the back although he is pretty clean there um, we turn him back to the front see a lot more detail obviously uh, here's his shoulders the little Autobot logo there everything's pretty much nicely done I like the way the wings here or the doors um, are spread out in the back like that and then he's just got simple little arms just the shoulders on a ball joint uh, no head articulation uh, no waist and no knees all right but then you got the feet that just move up and down but that's because of the transformation so overall very very simple simple figure and of course uh, you do have the ball jointed hips which I just forgot to show you but uh, overall very simple however it just looks nice on its own now we can go ahead and transform him. very easy transformation sort of like a GoBot uh, you're gonna take the arms off you'll see there's a little curve right here which snaps right into the wheel well alright so if that's not fitting in there it's not been transformed right all right, so you're going to unclip the shoulder around like this. Same thing on this side, just unclip it from the door, bring it around, then flip this over like that to cover the head. Then these panels here on the arms, you have to turn them so that they form the top of the car this way, like that. And then just fold them in half this way, bring this rear back, and you form the back of the car this way, just like that, and just snap everything together. And you got yourself a little smoke screen. Now he's about the size of a matchbox car, all right, which is actually pretty tiny, but you'll see it rolls nice. And it actually rolls nicer than a lot of deluxe figures that I've seen. All right, now you'll see he's got the weapon ports. He's got one on the top and he's got one on either side. I'll show you what that looks like. You can just plug it right here like that. All right, so you can grind the floor, I guess. You can put it this way, so you can swipe the enemies from the side. You can also plug it into the top here, like that. Now what I also want to do is show you how he goes back into robot mode. And the reason I want to do that, because there is a little tricky part with the door and the shoulders, which uh, a lot of people have gotten wrong. So uh, just bring the legs down, form the feet. That's probably the easiest thing. Then you can bring the doors out like this, fold this part. It's pretty self-explanatory. But when you get the the uh, wings or whatever, the doors, whatever you want to call them, when you swing this around, it's not just swinging it around to the front uh, and that's it. There's actually a, a little uh, lip here on the door, which this black piece actually clips into. And some people don't actually clip it in. Like that. Once it clips in, that little curved piece here that I mentioned earlier, now will fit right in the wheel well. And that's what I was trying to show you guys before. And then the arm comes down and now this whole section is pretty much... Uh, solid. So same thing with the other side. Just make sure it clips right there like that. Then you can bring the arm down and put that little curve piece right in the little wheel well and you have him in robot mode. And like I mentioned earlier he does have the little chain bolter which you can put right in the hand here on either hand actually and if you wanted to just for fun you can actually put it down here in the foot since there is a port there but it looks rather silly and then you can also store the weapon right in the back here if you choose to and I did want to point out that at least on mine and it came this way it has a stress mark on the thumb and uh, you know I didn't want to try and push it back at all because uh, it'll probably snap off so that's something to look out for uh, when you're purchasing this but that pretty much wraps up the whole thing guys I hope you enjoyed the review uh, it is a neat little figure. Again, look out for the Deluxe coming sometime soon, hopefully. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Until next time, guys, bye-bye.